Hey everyone, so today I want to provide a one month update on my 2022 big year. January was a great month of birding. I both saw and recorded more birds and wildlife than ever before, at least in the early months of the year. I've recorded photos, videos, iNaturalist and eBird observations of tons of different species. Now, as I said in my intro, the point of my big year is basically just to have a little extra motivation to get outside, go birding, be in nature, there's so much to see out there and it's good to have a little extra motivation, especially in the winter when it can be a little cold and rainy here on Vancouver Island. Now in terms of actual numbers, I saw 74 species of birds, over 37 checklists. Now I know those might not be groundbreaking numbers, but I'm pretty happy with them. I'm reliably informed that the record in BC for a big year is about 380 species and that includes the entire province and not just Vancouver Island. So seeing about 20% of BC's bird species so far in a month, I think is a pretty good number. I'm also happy that I averaged over a checklist a day when we had some sketchy weather in January with both torrential downpours and snowstorms and some not great road conditions at times. So of those 74 species, I got three lifers, meaning birds I've never seen before. So that includes Eurasian widgeon, yellow-billed loon, and pigeon guillemot. Pigeon guillemot was a really cool bird. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera with me at the time. I've been checking the pier in Campbell River where I saw it to try to get some footage. I also got some great experiences with birds that I've seen once or twice before, but maybe from far away or just kind of a fleeting glance at them. So those included Barrow's Goldeneye, White Winged Scoter, and Dunlin. Okay, so just as an aside, I used to play this game called Dinosaur Safari when I was a kid. It was super nerdy. You travel back in time to take pictures of dinosaurs. And in that game, you tried to cross out different clades of related species. So one thing I'm happy about with my big ear is I've been able to cross out two groups. I've seen three Scoter species and three Merganser species, which are pretty much the species you're gonna see in BC. So I look forward to kind of crossing more groups out as I go along. So by creating these videos, I've really put a greater emphasis on shooting and producing video than ever before. It's still kind of a new area for me, but it's been really fun to learn and get better at that. So looking at my trip report for the month, which shows all the checklists that I recorded with eBird, I stuck around Campbell River quite a bit, maybe traveling 30 or 40 kilometers from the city, some birding hotspots in the area, but I also did get down to Nanaimo for a day and also went on a bit of a road trip up to the North Island, went birding in Port McNeil and Port Hardy. So what's next for my big year? Well, I'd like to be a little more strategic going forward. So what does that mean exactly? In January, I basically went out birding whenever I could, whenever I wanted, and just recorded whatever species I saw. That strategy worked at first to get a large number of new species on the year, but obviously that trend kind of flattens out as you go. So over the next month, I want to really focus on winter birds, birds that are overwintering here that are non-residents in the breeding season, meaning that they'll breed elsewhere, you know, maybe up in the Arctic, farther on the continent of North America, and really see those birds while I have a chance in the next few months. I might not get another chance to see them until the weather cools again uh, come November, December. A lot of those bird species are those that are overwintering on the ocean, waterfowl and other kind of water birds. And so I'll probably be birding at the ocean a lot going forward, which might be a good strategy as well as migration starts to kick up. Now, this is my first big year. I've seen that some people plan their big years in years in advance with all these sorts of training and planning. I haven't done that. If you have any tips for me or recommendations of places to go in the area, I'd love to hear it. And stay tuned for more videos like this where I update you on my big year. It's really all about having fun for me and sharing the experiences with you. So I hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks for tuning in and watching the video. Happy birding, everyone.